Right, so they decided to release a uh, Latina America team of the season for for the weekend. Uh, obviously, it's for, I think it's Friday till Monday. Uh, I'm not too uh, happy about that. I'd, like a lot of the players don't look that good. However, I did want to make a team with two two of two certain players and then uh, a silver player. It's basically three of the best looking players in my opinion, anyway. And I also wanted to make a team with the guy at left wing as well. So, as you can see, I've got Cordona, Pabon, right wing Sanchez. I know, it's not, it's not Alexis. Calm down. It's, it's Carlos, Carlos Sanchez. And at left wing, I want, uh, I've got Neymar. Team of the season, Neymar. Now, I wanted to make a team with Neymar. Uh, and, I, and I didn't really get the chance to in the Liga BBVA video. So... I also wanted to make a team with Pabon and Cardona, and luckily enough, Pabon and Cardona are the same same team and same nation, so they get a super link. So I was like, right, there we go, four three three four, Cam striker sorted. Can I have anything I want around them? So I got Neymar left wing as well, um, and I got Sanchez right wing, who looks all right to be honest. I wish he had four star skills; he'd look a lot better, but. To be honest, these three, the cam striker and right wing, look like the best three Latina America team of the season players. Uh, and obviously, I really wanted to get Neymar in. So I wanted to build like a hybrid for you guys. It's not really a hybrid. It's just like loads of... It's like, you can call it a hybrid, but it's just like super link in the middle. Uh, strong links on the left hand side, strong links on the right hand side, and then we got a super link centre back partnership with Sirigu in goal. And Sirigu is one of my favourite keepers on the game. Uh, Tiago Silva and David Luiz are favourite centre back partnership on the game. And I just wanted to try this out and show you guys how it plays because it looks quite nice to be fair. Now, I've used this silver right centre mid before, and he has a rocket. He's only got 62 shooting, but in game he's got something like 75 long shots and like 85 shot power, I think. So he's got crazy, he's got crazy long shots on him. And I got Busquets there because I needed a bit more of a solid CDM kind of thing for these two centre mid rolls. So I got people, I got two centre mids with decent defensive stats as well. And I've got Cordona at camp. But yeah, let's just stop rambling and let's just get into a game finally. I didn't even see what his team was. Right, Leno, I can see at the bottom, Leno, Pizjek, Janska, Boateng, Rodriguez, Lom, Mkhitaryan, Goethe, Shakiri, Lewandowski, Royce. Guys, he's playing 4-3-3. Three, three. Right, let's go. <laughs> this game is so fucking shit. I've pressed B once outside the box, and he's, he's dragged him in the box. And he's gone down like a sack of shit. I wish my players did that. When they tap B once. My players just stay on their feet and fucking lose the ball. It's just ridiculous. Alright, come on. Come on. <sighs> Neymar. What a header. What the fuck? I, in fact, actually, I know what that was. For some reason, Neymar has randomly got... Like, 95 heading accuracy in game or some shit. It's so stupid. Well, I suppose that helped me out there, so yeah. <laughs> Get in. Come on, Pabon. Yes, Pabon! <laughs> Has that gone through the keeper's legs? I don't get them slide shots. They put, like, fucking so much power on them. They go, like, a thousand miles per hour into the back of the net. Like, it's so stupid, the slide shots. Has that gone through his legs? It has as well. Is he put it through the keeper's legs? Get <laughs> I very rarely see that. That's quite <laughs> get in there, Pavon. You got knocked the fuck That's out, man! That's a penalty. That How is that not a pen? How? How? Someone please. Pavon. Sanchez! Yes! Fucking the bullshit is going my way now, even though I should have had a pen like literally a minute ago. But still. Thank fuck, man. 3-1. Come on. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. This this is not happening. I hate this. I hate being in the lead. <laughs> he, he's wrecked me. Oh my god. Come on. No. I slid. No. No. I fucking... 3-1 lead again. Another 3-1 lead. And I fucked it up because I am shit at defending. I am so bad at defending. It's unreal. Like, it is so stupid how bad I am. Well, I just can't do it. I can't I can't deal with this. I can't I can't do it. I just can't do it. This is this is shit. Yes! Fucking finally this shit cunt at right wing, Sanchez, has finally done something. It took him about an hour to get into the box, but fuck it. At least he finally got there. My god, you bald-headed shit prick. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god, I want to cry. Cordona, you beautiful bastard. Nah. He's <laughs> so stupid, man. What the fuck? Why did I not just press B? Oh, my. Oh, I have never been so mad. Just when I thought I was going to go into extra time. <sighs> right. I've never been so pissed off at playing like a single game like i've never been pissed off in as that that pissed off that i wanted to, to smash so much stuff up then but i'm just pl gonna play a last game i know what a stupid fucking idea this is but i'm just gonna play a game oh something in my eye I'm gonna play another game and i'm just gonna Hope for the best, man, because I remember why I hate this formation. The midfield is just way too open. Honestly. It, you just get wrecked in midfield. Absolutely wrecked, and it's so shit. You need fast centre mids in this formation, and I've got the exact opposite. I've got two slow centre mids. So I'm just going to play another one and hope for the best. Got a feeling this guy's team isn't actually that good. It's 4 and off star 80 rated. Oh, why did I say that? Well, he's absolutely buried that in the bottom corner, but it's just too easy for him to get through. The The midfield just isn't there. There's no protection from the midfield in front of the centre-back, in front of the defenders. Oh, my God. I knew this would be bad as soon as I saw the legend attackers. My God, I am getting destroyed. There we go. Neymar is carrying this team. He is like, he's like the only goal threat in this team. He's the only one that can actually do something. And that's a that is a beautiful goal. That is a beautiful finesse shot. Neymar's really good, guys. That's that's the only plus I can take away from this team. Yes, Neymar. His finesse shot is ridiculous. Oh, Neymar is the saviour. Wait, how why how why is that given it? Why is it Oh shit 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 I haven't moved the wall properly. Fuck! I moved it the wrong way. Why is it giving a free kick in the first place though? What have I what what did I do to give away the free kick? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> he's toying with me. He knows that he's, the game's his way. He knows <laughs> Oh my god! What a re oh, I'm fucking done. Right, so you guys know, I'm always honest with these kind of squad builders and kind of like, I, 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 give it a, I give it a little review afterwards, certain players. Uh, so, you, you know I'm honest, right? And first of all, <sighs> this team is shit, right? Don't ever buy this right winger. He's just beyond terrible. 
This whole right side is fucking terrible. Now, Cordona, Pabon, and Neymar. Right. Cordona, I'm not even sure what to think about it. I think this formation fucked everything up for me, to be honest. I think it was more the, the, more, more the formation than the team. But obviously, the team is for the formation. Like, the formation is for the team. It, 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 like, links together. So, the team is built like this because of this formation. Uh, and because, obviously, Cordona Pavon got a super link. Right, so Cordona, I'm not even sure what to think of him. He didn't really get, he didn't really do much. Pabon, I'm not sure what to think of him either. He didn't really do much. I'm just, all I'm going to say is Neymar is fucking fantastic. Neymar is definitely, I'd, he's the second best left winger on the game. It's as simple as that. He's better than Ribéry. He's better than Royce. He's better than all them. His team of the seasons, his shooting in particular feels so much better than his man of the match version. Uh, or his second in form or whatever, his highest, his highest version before the team of the season. His shooting does feel much better and his dribbling feels very, very smooth and he, he feels so easy to pull skill moves off with. So, don't buy this team, however, do get Neymar if you're looking to buy him because Neymar is actually really, really good. Now, them two games have been, they were the most stressful, most rage, it just... I, I, I just rage so much in them games. Uh, I, I, I want to cry, to be honest. Like, I am so pissed off. But, yeah, don't don't try this team. Don't This formation's terrible. So, if you're going to try this formation with, like, a Legends team, make sure you get fast midfielders like Hullet and Vieira or something. Um, so, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed me raging. Uh, because... Hell yeah, I've done it. There's a few other videos what I've done where I've raged, um, but I think this might have been the worst rage I've ever done while recording. So they were the most two stressful games I've ever played on FIFA. So I still thumbs up button for the for the rage uh, for the funny rage and for the squad builder I suppose, even though it's fucking shit. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Twitter is down below in the description as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which will probably be a brand new Fat Man and Robin episode. So, looking forward to that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <sighs> Remind me to never make this fucking team again.